to do business within United Arab Emirates, then this is the video for you, okay? I am Ann Aim Polchen. I'm an author and I also do business. Today, I'm going to be talking about business ideas that can be done in businesses that can be done in the United Arab Emirates, okay? Now, I've got my notes here because I can't cram all the business ideas in my head and the notes to go with them because I'll be elaborating on a few of them, okay? So, it's going to be 25 most profitable businesses to do in the United Arab Emirates altogether. However, in this video, the first of three parts, okay, um, I'm going to be sharing only seven and then I'll come back with another set and then I'll come back after that second video with the final set, okay? And then after those after the three videos are done, I'll come back with a Q&A, okay, Q&A of questions that is normally asked by aspiring entrepreneurs within Dubai and also those who want to do business in Dubai, okay, who are outside of Dubai. So, without further ado, let us get into the video. Number one is e-commerce and online retail, okay? E-commerce and online retail, all right? E-commerce in United Arab Emirates has grown significantly in recent years with approximately 99% of the population having internet access to the internet access okay the united arab emirates has one of the highest internet penetration rates in the world so they use the most internet basically they have internet in most of their places most of places in comparison to most countries around the world okay now let's continue the United Arab Emirates government has been promoting digital transformation, creating a strong digital infrastructure and encouraging e-commerce. Okay, so the government has been encouraging e-commerce. Not only that, they've also created a strong digital infrastructure infrastructure okay now they so that helps okay that helps this business idea customers are looking for specialized and customized items utilize the desire for specialty products and establish a prosperous online business by spotting market trends or gaps so you either go with the trends or you look at what is missing in the in the market and then you provide that. Okay? To increase traffic to your online store, your website must be well designed and user friendly. You should consider using various platforms such as social media marketing okay email marketing and influencer relationships to promote your e-commerce business okay so those are some of the ways that you can promote your business so that pe a lot more people know about your business okay so, number two is food and beverage business. So, for example, the e-commerce, okay, is like 
the business behind me here. This is basically my warehouse. Okay. However, we sell all these. I sell all these products online. Okay. All right. So I look at both what is missing in the market and also trends, okay, market trends, okay, so what's already on the market, so I provide that, although I'm not based in the United Arab Emirates, okay, so number two is food and beverage business, the United Arab Emirates food and beverage industry is well known for its thriving culinary scene and varied cuisine culture, especially in Dubai. Okay. Some business ideas in the United Arab Emirates food industry are, number one, specialty cafes that offer special kinds of brews and unique sweets as well as savoury creations, okay, these are pastries, cakes, etc, okay. Number two is food trucks. Number three is healthy food delivery services. So, you basically delivering healthy food to people, okay, door to door, okay, or to a pick up point. Right. Number four is unique dining experiences such as underwater restaurants. These create memorable moments for customers looking for new dining experiences. Using fresh high quality ingredients, partnering with trusted suppliers, providing exceptional customer service and creative marketing strategies are crucial for the success of for for success in food and drinks business okay so you need to implement if not all a few of those crucial details okay so that your business your food and beverage uh, and drinks business can thrive in the united arab emirates Okay, if that's the business idea that you go for. Now, moving on to business idea number three. It's tourism and hospitality business. Okay, one of the places that has been established as a global tourist destination in United Arab Emirates is Dubai. Habibi, come to Dubai. Everybody knows that, that, that phrase. When you say, Habibi, everybody says, come to Dubai. Okay? So, because Dubai is such a popular place. Okay? It attracts millions of visitors every year. These are some business ideas within the tourism and hospitality industry in the United Arab Emirates. Number one. Luxury hotels and resorts. Number two, travel agencies. Number three, specialised tour operators. Okay, so those are the three ideas that you can implement. So you can either open a travel agency or you can open up a hotel, a luxury hotel or even a resort or have a specialised tour operator, operating service, okay? So, for example, maybe you want to provide, you know, a tour operation service for blind, deaf, basically special needs people, or for families, or you want to, um, What's it called? Provide a service for young adults. Okay, so things like that. Okay, now to make this 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 business idea thrive, you need to collaborate.
collaborate with local attractions, tour operators and other businesses to create compelling packages, okay, and exclusive offerings for this for this business for these businesses to be successful. All right? Okay. Moving on to business idea number four. Okay, number four. Technology and IT services. Dubai is one of the places in United Arab Emirates that has been placing emphasis on transforming into a leading smart city. This focus has created a demand for professional for, for professionals who develop cutting edge technologies. Okay? The city aims to integrate advanced dis digital infrastructure and smart systems into various sectors, including transportation, healthcare, and public safety. Mobile application development is another area of great potential in Dubai. There is a growing need for mobile application that cater to various aspects of daily life, for example, transportation, tourism, healthcare, and e-commerce. Technologies such as AI, which is artificial intelligence, for short, okay, blockchain, internet of things, which is also known as IOT, okay, and cloud computing are integrated in United Arab Emirates, okay. Now, let us move on to business idea number five. I hope this is helping somebody. Okay. All right. Um, okay, sorry. Um, still continuing with number four. Smart city initiatives. Furthermore, certifications and qualifications specific to the field of interest can enhance one's credentials and opportunities. So if you are, if you know how to fix AI, if you know how to work with it, if you know how to create mobile application, you know, apps basically, and if you have qualification in IT and any form of technology, you have a better chance of having opportunities available to you within the United Arab Emirates, okay? And um, and so let's continue to number five now. Business idea number five is health and wellness business, okay? United Arab Emirates has seen a growing emphasis on health and well-being in recent years. This presents a range of business opportunities in the United Arab Emirates. The business opportunities include fitness studio, well, wellness retreats, okay, number three, organic product stores, number four, specialised health clinics. Okay, so you can organise retreats, wellness retreats, where people can go for spas, um, spas, facials, um, exercises, um, you know, healthy eating classes, cooking classes, healthy, um, you know, healthy food, like healthy eating classes and all of those kind of um classes to deal with wellness and then having talks on wellness how to promote your wellness um as individuals and as families as couples okay so you can provide such a such a retreat where they have that space and 
where they can engage into all those activities, okay? Or you can also have a fitness studio where people can come in and they can work out. You can show them different workout techniques for different health issues with and um, that gives them different health benefits whether people want to lose weight people want to put on weight people want to maintain the weight that they have people want to just be fit okay so you can offer that in your fitness studio okay and work out equipment so you can have talks about what equipments are suitable for what and also for those people who may want to be who may want to work out from home but they don't know exactly what equipments to buy you can offer that um service to them like in your fit in your fitness studio where they can come and you consult and they consult with you before buying their equipments for home exercises gyms and etc okay and then um and then looking at organic product stores so you can sell organic products to do with losing weight, putting on weight, maintaining your weight, okay? And also just organic products in general because we put a look in people who are, um, who are conscious about their health, they look at having quality foods, having quality drinks, having quality products to um, consume, okay? So you can provide that whether physical store or online store okay all right these business opportunities require high standards of cleanliness okay so your premises has to be clean if you have a physical store and um high standards of cleanliness and hygiene okay you'd also need to leverage on digital marketing so you have to have an online presence where you use your social media platforms and even create a website etc okay then also look at collaborating with influencers in order to raise awareness of the business and build a loyal customer base okay so those are kind of the, those are some of the things that you need to implement in order to to have a successful um health and wellness business within the united arab emirates now Second to last, okay, which is business idea number six, um, is the education and training business. Education and training business, okay. Education is considered an important, is considered, sorry, is considered important in the United Arab Emirates and the demand for quality training programs is high, which creates a high which creates a range of business opportunities in the united arab emirates okay so you can um open language schools vocational centers okay tutoring services where you offer one-to-one -one or group tutoring in specific subjects okay or specific field and then also online learning so you can create online courses and um provide that for the people okay emphasizing specialized courses and experienced instructors leveraging leveraging technology and offering certification or accreditation is crucial for success so you need to be able to either have specialized courses okay and also have experienced instructors okay so people who are experienced within the courses the field that you're providing education in or training in okay and also you have to leverage technology so make the most of technology so your social media platforms again having websites okay and then also making sure that you know maybe you offer a certificate at the end of the course so that the people the students who take part in those courses or training are acknowledged when they go to use those qualifications and trainings okay they can use this their certificate all right 
or accreditation so you're accredited you know in one way or another okay based on the field that you're offering the education or training in okay that is what that is a very vital part of you succeeding in this business idea if you do choose to go for it lastly and um, before i end this video um is number seven which is real estate and property management now i have i know someone who does this in dubai and they're very successful at it and this person is steven akintayo steven akintayo so you can find him on instagram you can find him on youtube you can find him on tiktok you can also find him on facebook and i believe thread okay so yeah so number seven like i said is real estate and property management united arab emirates real estate market has experienced a significant boom in the race in recent years which contributed to the growth and diversity of the real estate sector which includes property management okay so you can have a business where you manage other people's properties for them number two um real estate consulting so you have a consulting business where people come and talk to you about everything to do with real estate what kind of properties to go into how to manage their properties etc what they will need when going into the property industry okay the real estate industry that that kind of conversation okay before they go into it um number three is vacation rental platform so people who need uh what's it called to rent apartment for holiday holiday apartments like airbnbs and all of that okay so you can create a platform for that way you can source holiday homes for people to book and they the people who own the accommodations and all that package come to you and pay you and then the customers directly book from your platform okay so or you yeah whichever way it works you pay them no they pay you and the customers or you take a percentage and then you pay them okay so win-win situation all right now you should conduct thorough for those of you who are looking to go into this area this area of business you need to conduct thorough market research and you should also identify target audiences so people are interested in this um in using these services okay and this business um and then you should also look at building partnerships with property developers and when venturing into this business okay so, and also make sure that you have prompt communications transparency and responsiveness to clients needs to build trust and long-term relationships with people okay so that is it that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions do put them in the comment section and um, if they're too personal you can send me a dm on my instagram and also a dm on facebook or twitter okay or x should i say okay um and i'll respond to you there accordingly all right inappropriate comments will be deleted do bear that in mind i don't tolerate them on my platforms and um that is it i hope this video helps out it helps you out um look out for the second part because 
if you didn't get anything that you're interested in venturing into um on this video you most likely would find something on the second one or the last one okay all right so that is it guys i shall see you all in the next video bye